how do we protect ourselves from burnout? I have to take time away from the headlines and the news and my phone. I have to spend more time recouping at the end of each day. I used to enjoy watching the news. It's too much for me right now. I realize it's disturbing my sleep. So we too have to pay attention to how our nervous systems are coping. While we especially help our clients hold their distress, hopefully our clients can turn to their loved ones. Well, what if they're still in stage one of EFT? What if they're still escalated? What if they're still triggering each other? What if they don't have a loved one right now? a safe other? What if their loved one isn't safe? So all these other issues get yeah. bigger when we're coping with a regular threat called this Ukrainian war. We just have to care for ourselves. We have to turn to our safe others. We have to give ourselves a chance to, as some of you in the cafe have heard me say, to walk and weep because it's just so painful to see and to hear and to know what what suffering is happening at the hands of other humans. Mm. Oh, tsunami's one thing. Avalanches are one thing. Human crafted war is an atrocity that my brain and my nervous system doesn't have a place for. I love that you normalize and validate that because when we see someone as experienced as you saying, I'm not a machine, I have to be careful with myself. I have to notice when my limits have changed. I have to be gentle with myself. I love hearing that because I think we all identify with that, but can struggle with that feeling of I should be able to give everything to everyone. I think therapists are all self-sacrifices, aren't we? It's so not a weakness to be able to say, I feel like I'm up against my limit today and what break can I get for myself? It's a whole new kind of strength to lead with our vulnerabilities. Are we strong enough to share our vulnerabilities, especially in a vulnerable way? We all can share our fears, but in a mad, defended, guarded way. I'm so scared. Hmm. It's so different than, huh? I can't, I don't know how today's going to go. I'm really scared. This is a lot. Yeah. We know people suffering and yet we're helpless. The helplessness of this war has hit me especially hard. Like, yeah, ah, yeah, it's huge. So we just stay up. You can see I let my emotion come. I didn't really expect it. It's okay with me. I make a little bit of experiential contact with it. And that starts the sh to shrink the metabolic load of it. When you can let yourself make a little bit of experiential contact with your pain that's emerging, even while you're sitting with clients, it's going to start to revise the metabolic load of your own emotion that none of us can hold back on. This is how I hold off burnout. For more hot tips on emotionally focused therapy, go to theeftcafe.com and sign up for news and updates.